all and welcome to Hacks, where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we're back on Hack This Site, looking at the extended basic missions. If you don't know what Hack This Site is, it's a website that allows you to learn new skills like forensics, steganography, a bit of programming. It's got some IRC missions on there, there's a lot going on. Uh, but today we are looking at the extended basic missions and we're looking at number two. It's called extension blocking and it's a fairly simple mission that requires knowledge of application structures, a bit about directory traversal and a little bit of PHP, not too much. So once we navigate to the page, we receive a message that says you have this function, provide the value which must be posted as a file name to obtain the desired results. Get the source code of hackthissite.org index.php and here's the function. And if we look at the function, it's fairly simple. You can understand what's going on. It says, file get contents. I feel like that's quite self-explanatory. It wants to get the contents of a file. And then it's a post request. If you don't know the difference between get and post requests, um, there's a lot of information out there which can help you about that. There's all types of different requests. Um, and then we have file name. Uh, so this is going to be the name of the file that we're trying to get hold of. So in this case, index. So we would need to change that to index. And at the end, we have the extension.php. So we won't need to provide the extension of the file. Otherwise, it would be index.php.php. Um, and then we just need to pop it into the checkbox, the sort of correct statement. And then that will get us the contents of the index.php file, which for a nefarious, malicious actor could be really useful. It could show you how the login form works. It could have database connection credentials in there, allowing you to steal the password and get access to the database. So if this were to exist on a website in the wild, on the internet, it could be useful for a malicious actor to go in and steal contents from other areas of the website by abusing the functionality of it. Um, but in order to abuse the functionality of it, we need to navigate up two directories because we're currently in missions, extended basic, looking at the number two file. Uh, and we need to go up from extended basic, up from missions to the root of the directory where we can grab the index file. In order to do that, you just do double dot forward slash double dot forward slash and type index because that's the file we want. Those are the two directories we want to escape and we don't need to append the extension because it already has it in there for us. And all we have to do is click check. And in a real world scenario, if it was vulnerable, we should get the contents of the index page dumped to um, like a white screen or a blank page um, and that would be it and from that you know you could look through the code and look for any vulnerabilities and allow you to break in so what can be learned from this type of mission well firstly it's going to be about validating user input stripping out things like the forward slashes obviously periods are a bit hard to uh, cut out because people's names contain them sometimes maybe maybe not don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, cutting out things like directory traversals. So if you have like a black list of characters, you can stick the dot dot dash in there, and the URL encoded versions of the dot dot dash and every sort of variation that there is of it. So that when a user tries to submit the dot dot dash, uh, it gets stripped out and they're unable to directory traverse. Never trust user input. That's, that's the sort of message from this one. And while it probably wouldn't have worked in this scenario, you could restrict file and folder permissions. So Apache or IIS, whichever the web server user is, uh, may necessarily not need access to directories above it. So if Apache, if the website's running in var dub HTML, perhaps it only needs access to that. So it can't go up and then go into like Etsy pass WD or something. Or if it's in interpub and then the location of the website perhaps it doesn't need access to the c drive or c users or c windows so restrictive file and folder permissions would help to mitigate further exploits of directory traversal attacks where they're escaping the web folder route and stealing sensitive credentials or sensitive information from the system itself 
Anyway, that's all I got for you today. I hope you found it informative. If you did, leave me a like, give me a thumbs up, and possibly subscribe. If you've got something to say, leave it in the comments down below. I'll try my best to read them and get back to you, but kind regards.